Hi, Genki here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 games I played at the Tokyo Game Show 2023. Please subscribe to help out the channel and help us get to 5,000 subscribers. So the Tokyo Game Show was a super cool event and it was the biggest in Tokyo Game Show history with a huge number of people attending and loads of games being shown. I had a great time at the show along with the guys at thefamilycast.com. So here are the top 5 games I played at the Tokyo Game Show. Number 5 Number 5 is Resident Evil 4 VR. I had a great time playing this game in VR using the PlayStation VR 2. It was a super immersive experience and the demo of the VR mode for Resident Evil 4 brought you to the start of Resident Evil 4 as you are going up to the village you could really feel the atmosphere and it was super immersive you could see the car that you came in with the bright headlights and you go into the creepy cabin where you look around and you get jumped by the El Garado zombie it was a super cool experience very immersive and I have to shout out to the shooting and aiming in the game it felt super accurate where you pointed your gun is where it shot it was a bit hard to reload because you have to reload using motion controls by reaching down to your hip to grab the magazine then adding that to your right hand or your gun hand at the bottom to reload the magazine clip also you could grab your left shoulder to grab a knife and you could use that to stab the enemies i felt that its aiming was super on point as in where you aimed that's where the bullets went it felt really good and very immersive so i was super impressed by resident evil 4 in vr the playstation vr is a bit too expensive at the moment but i'd like to try out the full game in vr too because the full game is great number four Sandland. The number 4 game for me was Sandland from Bandai Namco. This is a game based on the manga by Dragon Ball series creator and manga artist Akira Toriyama. It is a super cool and very stylish game. I really love the art style and I think it perfectly replicates the Akira Toriyama art style that is seen in Dragon Ball and also in the Dragon Quest character designs. I really like how they have these etched ink lines on the character models and it brings a really cool depth very manga like aesthetic to the characters. It looks super cool. It opens up with a really cool set piece of this giant earthworm chasing you in the desert as you run away towards the camera in your cool desert truck. Later on you can go into this open world which is kind of like a Mad Max like area it's, in, it's like a post apocalyptic barren world full of sand and you can traverse around using your car you can run around and then jump out of your car and hit enemies with a classic melee combat using combos and the R1 shoulder button for special moves it was super cool driving around jumping out and then beating up some bandits and dinosaurs in the open world then jumping back in your car and driving to the next mission point so it was a really cool open world adventure game i really loved the art style so yeah this one was really fun and can't wait to check out the full game to see what it's like number three dragon's dogma 2 dragon's dogma 2 was the number three game i tried out at the tokyo game show playing this game i was impressed by the graphics and the open world and also the combat the combat felt really solid and the battles felt really cool with your allies healing you during battles and you working together and running around environments with your allies also the towns felt really impressive and very connected to the open world and the transition between the open world wide environments into the towns was super impressive and felt very smooth in the demo you could run up to this mountain and fight some goblins and wolves and uh, different bosses and yeah it felt really cool i was impressed by the graphics and gameplay and the dialogue choices that you could have with the characters that you encounter in the environments also running between the indoors and outdoor environments felt really natural and smooth too i was really impressed by the combat that felt really solid uh, you can even pick up the goblins that are shielding and then run around with them <laughs> yeah so this game is really fun i think it's still quite early in development i was quite surprised they even had a demo at the tokyo game show but yeah we still don't know when the full release date of this game game will be but hopefully it's sometime next year number two Deca police the number two game i played at the tokyo game show 2023 was Deca police from level five this game was supposed to be scheduled for 2023 this year but we still don't have a release date and there's only two months left 
in the year so I think it most likely be delayed until 2024 but it was looking very impressive. I played it on the PlayStation 5 and the presentation and graphics looked super clean and great. I really like the cool anime aesthetic with the cell shaded graphics and with cool camera angles and cool poses and animations to supplement the story and battles. So fans of Professor Layton games and JRPGs this will be the perfect mix for you. You have these cool mysteries that you can solve by going into the environments in the demo here you were in a jewelry shop that had just been robbed and you had to find the culprit and you could explore the environment to find clues and then open up this cool board to piece together the clues and solve the mysteries. Then you would enter into this cool turn based battles which were ATB based and you could run around during the battles. Yeah, They were super impressive and you'd have to defeat the enemies in order to arrest them and put them in handcuffs. I really like this original concept of the game and it does look like a fun game in which you have to solve mysteries and clues, answer questions and battle enemies in order to detain them. So I'm looking forward to this level 5 game. Number 1 Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth My number one game had to be Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth This is the game I am most looking forward to for the whole of next year 2024 and it felt great already so I played this game four times already twice in the first part of the demo which was the Sephiroth and Cloud demo and the second part which was Cloud and the team exploring the area around Junon. The game was amazing and I'm super impressed every time I played it and it's already shaping up to be game of the year for me for next year already even with the little bit I have played. There's going to be so many mini games and cool things to do in this game. The battles look super stylish and amazing and in the demo I ran into so many cool little surprises. I even tried out swimming in the demo which was really cool. You can climb down at certain areas and go swimming and uh, explore different areas of the map and little islands off the coast uh, which was really cool. Uh, the w open world isn't as open as Zelda. It's still quite closed off as in there are still some invisible walls like you can't just jump off a cliff into the water. You have to climb down and into certain areas where you can get to the water and then you can go swimming. Same with the mountains and stuff. You need like the special chocobo in order to climb certain mountains in certain areas. So it's not as open world and as free as like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom open world. But it seems like it's going to be more uh, open world areas that are really huge and connected together seamlessly. So yeah, that is looking really impressive. And yeah, I really like the, the new items they got in the area. You can pick up items and craft things. You can customize your chocobo and you have the open open world aspect of the game is where the game has really transformed the most and it is looking really impressive and also the battles between Sephiroth and Cloud playing a Sephiroth was super amazing I switched to him straight away and yeah the combat was really cool he has new moves such as a warp move to walk to the enemy and attack them the synergy attacks look super cool and impressive it's quite tactical as well like uh, fighting the boss in the Junon area you have to switch up the characters and switch between like long range magic and uh, close combat and then the enemy traps you in a water bubble and then you have to switch to another character and then you have to attack the water bubble in order to free the character that's trapped and so yeah there was lots of new uh, tactical elements in introduced into the battles and yeah it's looking like a super impressive and very fun game the battles are super intense and there's a lot of things you can find in the overworld like I ran into these uh, big fat bluebirds in the open world which was like a side quest hunt to do and yeah, that was a surprise so there's lots of things to, to find in this world and lots of things to do and the graphics are looking amazing the open world looking amazing I uh, played in uh, the performance mode and also the quality mode and yeah it looks really good in the quality mode I think the performance mode was still not perfect like 60 frames per second but they're still working on it which is a good sign but all in all yeah it was amazing and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is a game I'm super looking forward to for next year. Those were the top 5 games that I enjoyed at the Tokyo Game Show 2023. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and please consider subscribing to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Genki Gamer. Thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Jane!